this official guide from meta about the metapixel has one big problem especially if you use a proper pixel implementation on woocommerce or even shopify i'm christian stoichescu from pixel your site our plugin is used right now on over 500,000 websites and the main feature that we offer to our users is a very good implementation for the metapixel and the conversion api events so i kind of know what i'm talking about and uh, by the way i like the guide it's a good idea it's a bit general but useful however this one thing that i'm referring can destroy ruin mess up your conversion number everything and uh, i'm referring to this recommendation right here turn on automatic tools tip number two turn on automatic events if you do this meta will try to guess when you have an add to cart when you have a purchase and they will fire such events especially on woocommerce websites in the wrong place with the wrong data without access to the product's id so uh, useless for dynamic ads duplicating the correct events fired like a proper implementation like pixel your site or facebook for woocommerce or other plugins that can understand and fire events correctly and inside your events manager settings page here uh, this is the option that they say you should have on i say never turn it on this one right here keep it off make sure it's disabled because otherwise on WooCommerce websites, you will have a purchase event fired every time someone clicks on the pay now button. Even if the payment is not successful, that event will have some value, sometimes correct, sometimes not. We'll have no way to detect the product ID because it's not visible on the website. So it's useless for dynamic ads. And the problem is that a proper implementation will also fire an event when the order is actually paid for or placed on the website. So if you use Pixel Your Site, our plugin, Pixel Your Site, never turn that on, even if that guide says you to do so. The rest, I like it. Let's take all the recommendations that uh, we can find here. Uh, set up events to start tracking results with your Pixel. Yes, absolutely. And then they start to explain standard events. This is a, a long list of uh, events that are recognized by Meta and custom conversions. They explain how to use custom conversions. Again, I like it. It's very useful. By the way, you can also have custom events. So any event, any name uh, is useful. There is a, an extra step. You need to go inside events manager and, said, and say, yes, I want to use this event. Let me see. Let me check if I have uh, such an event. Yeah, no. Okay, I have one. Review. I acknowledge. So confirm. Confirm. So and now I can use this custom event. So that's an extra step required for custom events. Uh, this is a standard event. This is a custom event, standard event, and so on. If you use Pixel Your Site, we fire a, a lot of events. Uh, for uh, meaningful actions, you can see them right here on the main page. Track all kind of actions, many. Uh, on the WooCommerce page, right here, um, when you have control for various options. So these are the events that we fire for a meta and other tags. So super simple and very useful. And you can also uh, configure your own events on the events page if we miss some actions and you need to track something very particular for example you can configure events when a form is submitted we have such triggers many triggers right here a lot of triggers available uh, with our plugin so yes i uh, i i think it's useful next how to verify your events there is a uh, an add-on for Chrome, Pixel Helper is called. Look for that add-on, it's very useful. Or you can do so um, here inside the Events Manager on the Test Events page. For browser events, you need to be in the same session. 
only those events are visible here. For conversion API events, you need to uh, add this test code inside Pixel Your Site if you use our plugin in this uh, test code field, save, and then uh, those events will be visible in the uh, testing tool. So yeah, I, I think it's a good recommendation. Now, what else do they say? Turn on automatic advanced matching, a good one. I, uh, I like it. It's here, settings page, right here. Turn on automatic event matching. Do it, it's useful. However, keep in mind that Pixel Your Site also sends something called manual advanced matching, meaning that we detect uh, useful data like email or first name, and we send it with our events. We have such options uh, here. Enable advanced matching. So that's an extra thing that we can do for you send user data with the events code. It works together with advanced matching. They are both useful. Set up conversion API, very useful thing. We do it. You just need to add your um, conversion API token right here. How to get a token, events manager settings, scroll, generate access token, copy the token, go to pixel your site, add a token in this field, save, and that's it. We fire both pixel event and conversion API events. Everything works. Everything uh, is very simple to uh, do. Okay. Now there are some tips about how to use uh, pixel data for your campaigns. I like them. I think you should read them. Anyway, that's it. I wanted to review the part about the pixel and conversion API. I wanted to warn you never, never uh, to use automatic events without code because it can mess up your data. If you have pixel your site or if you have Facebook for WooCommerce or if you are on Shopify, on Shopify and you have a, a solution that fires events correctly, let the solution to fire the events don't uh, tell Facebook to try to do it, to try to guess what's going on. Everything else is useful. Uh, Pixel Your Site makes everything very simple and we do a lot of stuff for um, improving, for example, EMQ score for conversion API events. We detect data uh, from forms. Uh, you can detect data from URLs, various things. I have videos on our YouTube channel explaining how this part works. Uh, so I think using Pixel Your Site is the best option you have on WordPress. And if you use WooCommerce, like this video, share this video and uh, subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.